identify the officers involved. ABC About time. has the new developments today. The family of Isaac Goodloe says justice delayed is justice denied. Since there have been no criminal charges filed against the Carroll Street police officers who killed him during a police involved shooting more than three months ago. I still can't sleep. I'm just starting to eat. Because I'm thinking about Isaac every day in the justice that I know that we need. Today's demand for action comes as a judge presiding over the federal civil rights lawsuit filed by the man's family grants a motion by their attorney ordering the village of Carroll Street to give up the names of the officers involved in the incident by May 29th. We should know how long they've been on the force. We, we, and those officers should be held responsible and accountable. A task force investigating the police-involved shooting concluded the 30-year-old African-American man was unarmed and in his bed when he was shot and killed by officers on February 3rd. Police were responding to a domestic violence call by his girlfriend at his home at the Village Brook Apartments in the western suburb. She was not inside the apartment at the time of the shooting. If this was the police being murdered by a citizen or community member. Yeah. We will already know the person's face shot, mug shot, background record, criminal behavior. In a brief emailed statement, a spokesperson for the DuPage County State's Attorney writes, the state's attorney is reviewing the evidence in this matter, which is extremely voluminous. I have no timeline for you as to when this will be completed. This afternoon, as the community of the grief-stricken and concerned question the transparency and integrity of the process, they hope the powers that be will do the right thing. How much do you have to scream for justice when your family member has been murdered? The family also would like to get an unedited version of the police officer body cam video and is vowing to protest until they get justice. Reporting from West Suburban Wheaton, Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Evelyn,